everyone welcome to the second session on this zentangle special series wherein we will be drawing beautiful zentangle inspired art uh, they would be more or less abstract we are not putting our patterns into any particular shape but we are drawing just randomly whatever is coming to our mind uh, you know uh, using zentangle patterns tangles in different ways in innovative ways right so let's get started i little i have done a little bit of work here i have drawn drawn two small concentric circles just for my reference you can either uh, draw this or you can do away with that step that's perfectly fine right so let's get started i'm going to start with a zentangle original tangle called aura knot right so the tangle has only auras but it says or are not <laughs> yeah yeah that's the irony it has been named or are not but the only thing that it contains is auras right so i'm drawing a nice flower right taking reference from my outer circle and the inner circle right and then i'm going to join two of these points and then start adding an aura like this right so miss this point from one point to this point i am adding an aura again i am going to join these two start an aura from here and go right till here right again i am going to join these two start here and go right till the end right so this tangle is called aura knot you just have to follow the sequence of auraing that's it right again joining these two so the circles are kind of helping you where to restrict and till what limit to go otherwise you can very well do without it also right so i completed one round now i'm going to continue like this so we have connected all these petals right now i'm just going to keep rotating my sheet of paper and going to continuing or a keep adding aura take your time no hurry right it's simple line work and you can see how the lines are creating a woven kind of a look that's the beauty of the tangles that's the beauty of zentangle right so be patient take your time and just keep adding or rest till the time you feel you want to you want to fill up the entire spaces you want to leave some space inside entirely up to you yeah so i'm going to leave some space so what i'm going to do is add some random auras where there is more space inside the petals like this kind of ensuring that the spaces are almost same inside all and doing what is required to ensure that now this space a little bit of inking is always a good idea i'm going to ink it right so once we are done with our center piece then we will just build on it grow it organically have fun with it try different shapes okay 
Ja. Yeah. Inside, let us add a diva dance rock and roll. So I'm using my black pen. I didn't do an introduction for this series because I'm using the basic supplies here except the paper which is a slightly bigger one. Right, so the tools are very basic. The black pen and the shading tools. So this is diva dance rock and roll. Diva dance arranged in a circle with some humps here and there. Right. Take your time. Do that exercise in the center. Right. Now let us proceed a little further. So I am now going to build on this center flower. First start with the moon. Right. And then probably add two auras. And add some petal shapes like this. Something like a tangle called petal paints. Yeah, simple. So taking broadly the reference from this outer circle that I have drawn. Again building on my design now. Add two auras. Right. And then one, two, three, four. Yeah, again. Do the same exercise for all. Be patient. Take your time. Just adding the curves first. One, two, three, four, five. And then bringing the lines down. Like this. Yeah. So we are done drawing these petal paints. One nice idea is to add some etching hatching to all with a very light hand adding those thatched roof kind of lines yeah take your time slowly add it to all So once we are done with that, the next thing that I am going to do is add a thin aura outside. So that whatever I draw next does not mingle with this. Yeah. Yep. Done. Now let us move a step forward. Now what I am going to do is probably these small little depressions. I am going to add gorgeous. So this is the gorgeous shape. I am just using the small dips in between to insert gorgeous. And as you must be aware, I like gorgeous the way it is originally. Right? So I like it inked. I am going to show you one or two and you can do the rest at your own pace 
in exactly the same way. Right? So be patient while you are inking. As I keep saying, it's a very integral part of the process of tangling. Or this is not complete unless you ink the section properly. Right? You can see the drama that it adds. I'm going to show you one more. One section, aura, another section. Aura, another section, aura, another section, aura. Yeah, and now the thicker sections just go back and ink them. Tangled, gorgeous. And the last section. Right? So I'll quickly do this for all. Aura. One more section. Aura. One more section. Aura. One more section. Aura. Yeah? So I am done drawing my gorgeous. Let us now again add a nice aura. Giving a nice petal shape to the gorgeous head. Take your time, slowly add one more layer of aura with the gorgeous. Right, so we are done with that. Now let us do... Uh, Probably I'm going to draw a loop here, something like this, and add one more, like this, right? But this is going big, so I'm probably going to make it smaller, yeah? So probably like this yeah so we are not intersecting lines here right so you can in fact extend this line like this so that they look like overlaps so if you are not confident of drawing this loop uh, with your pen directly just uh, I have again taken a reference till what do I have to you know extend the line so you may may not do it so what I'm going to do is first draw the inner loop and then draw the outer with my pencil. Yeah. So you can, if you are not confident enough or doing it straight with your pen, just use your pencil and draw this loop. So the first one is a smaller one and the second one is touching the outer line which I have drawn. A very small line which I have just drawn for reference depending on till what is this one extending yeah again the smaller one inside and the bigger one outside again 
again a very common loop design used in celtics or in kolam as we say in india yeah so i'm going to now ink it so we are going to have this line show this will come down and this will come down right small little space here we shall see what do we want to do again take your time and slowly do the exercise adding the loops in between your gorges yeah I'm slowly drawing in front of you you can follow me draw at your own pace yeah so this small little space i think i would like to ink it because i think it will add to the look of my design so i'm going to go back and ink it nicely yeah so i'm inking the last one here small little space left in between my center design and the loop right now inside the loop it is entirely up to you what do you want to do right so we can add something like a, a tangle called wood we can add shattuck we can add any other tangle of your choice let's see let's add uh, shattuck so i'm just going to add lines at an angle to each other you can also vary the tangles no need to add the same tangle in all the loops even that is possible keep rotating your page don't move your hand much once it is in its comfort position right so take your time lines at angle to each other from one end to the other right so yeah let's start from this side and then we shall see how do we want to join yeah so let's see yeah so i'm just going to continue like this right so that's one you can either go with the same or you can change
rectangle pattern shattuck take your time and do that exercise for all yeah so i'll just do this and come back so i am now on the last loop still going ahead and adding the shattuck lines pure lines drawn at angles to each other zentangle original shattuck take your time keep rotating your tile your sheet of paper yeah now starting from the other side here going from one end to the other so here we'll have to draw a v So we are done with that tangle also. Now I am going to add a nice curve around my gorgeous like this almost an orb a little away from the two loops. on the two sides so i'm not planning here what right i'm just going with the spaces so now i'm just going to add a tangle called nice give a nice lift to my gorgeous add a v shape inside these sections and then join the tip of the v with the center like this yeah again i'll do the same take your time do that exercise for all your gorgeous heads join the tip of the v with the center right and then we shall do the inking tangle nice right so once we are done drawing this nice i'm now going to ink these spaces you can also add some lines there as is the case with the original tangle 
you have lines here in the original tangle lines like these right but I am inking it to add that additional boldness right so I am going to go ahead and do that for all Take your time. No hurry. Right, so let me do that and I get back to you. I'll quickly ink all these. So I'm now on the last one, just filling in the spaces left out after drawing my nice. The V shape, the triangular spaces. So once we are done with that, now the last thing that I am going to do is just with a dotted line going to connect these ends. Yeah, What I mean to say is add these dotted kind of lines in the in between spaces. like this right so that's what I'm going to do throughout keep rotating there is nothing inside here keep that empty We can keep it empty or we can add something else there. Yeah. Some lines with highlights. So I am now on the last section. Adding those lines with a highlight go back and redo the line of the loop now if you want you can add something inside the loop also something like this but it is entirely optional You can leave it empty entirely up to you. Right? So let us now move on to shading. So, as far as the aura knot is concerned, add shade at these crossings. Add these right here on the petal panes. Right, so blend this first. Again, principle is to leave white sections in between. 
so that they look like shimmer a shine and not everything is grey contrast is important yeah so white spaces should be discrete visible then comes the petal paints just blend the graphite here we already have etching there so the area is already highlighted some here the lower part of the gorgeous right so done with the gorgeous now around the gorgeous head although that's not the general way to shade your nice but again depends on what are the tangles you are combining it with so I am going to shade it like this here and see if I need to add something else Take your time, slowly go to each. last one here yeah as far as these dupes are concerned you must highlight the intersection and the inside right take your time and do that exercise throughout I'm still continuing to shade adding some graphite on one side the same side as I put inside I'm adding a little on the outside also So now let us pick up our chalk or let us highlight these places a little more with our brush pen. A little touch of darkness. with the brush pen is to highlight the overlap and probably one side just a little re-emphasis So let us now use our chalk. So I am going to use the chalk a little on 
the opposite side where we have not shaded giving that high and low yeah and then you can add some on the gorgeous that you have not added the graphite the upper part brush off the excess use a different blender blend the chalk with the rest now rest is optional if you want these small white little spaces and you can also add use your brush pen and add a little bit of darkness here inside if you want not actually required but little bit on the edges and highlight the center right so if you want you can add some chalk at these places but it's entirely up to you because they are already white but if you want to highlight a little more you can put your chalk there also yeah little bit yeah I think we are done so now up to you if you want to add or revisit some lines you can do that pick up your O1 and just redo some of the lines if you want something like this yeah but that's optional you may may not do it if you do it you can see the difference yeah a little more highlight on the loop that's it so if you want you can close it here or you can extend add something on the outside for example small little triangles like this and a loop on top of it right a small little embellishment that you can do all around your piece depending on the spaces you have Yeah, so I'll quickly do that and finish off. So I am almost done adding a small triangle, inking it in, and adding a small orb over it. Yeah, that's about it, right? So let's close it here. Don't forget to initial your work, sign and date it. Right? And I shall see you again with another fun project. Till then, have a good time. And I shall display the names of the tangles that I used during the video as you run the video. Bye bye. Take care.